principle four, level out the workload. In learning outcome one, we learnt about the seven wastes or muda. There are two other types of wastes in the Toyota production system. There is muri, which is overburdening people or equipment, and mura, unevenness. Together, muda, muri and mura are known as the three M's. And there is an interdependency between all three. In a normal production system, there is always a fluctuation in work. Sometimes there is a lack of work leading to idle time, and at other times there can be more work than the workforce and the equipment can handle. The fluctuations can be the result of a variable production schedule, or it can be caused by system issues, such as unplanned machine downtime, unexpected part shortages, or rejects. With this management principle, the focus is on the Mura, the unevenness. The graph represents customer demand against time, and as we can see, there is a fluctuating demand level. If we set our processes and systems up to meet the maximum demand, when it drops off, we will have wasted capacity and manpower. Alternatively, we could set up for minimum demand and we will get failed order achievement and demands for excessive overtime. So we can see that fluctuating demand creates problems. It creates problems for us to know what capacity to plan for and what manning levels to build. Stabilizing the system and creating an evenness or leveling out of the work schedule is termed Hayunka by Toyota. It is a fundamental concept for eliminating Mura and hence the other two M's, Muri and Muda, with it. Our second graph here shows that we have leveled out the workload somewhat and it makes it easier for us to now manage the man levels. If we have any excess demand, we can just capture it with a little bit of overtime every now and then. The perfect lean practice would be to have single piece flow, minimal lead times and customers to order parts evenly. This would be a build to order system. Although this is the target for lean, it is very difficult to achieve. Lean is about striving for perfection. So although we may not be able to build to order, in the meantime, it is necessary to have systems that take us to the right, in the right direction. So workable systems have been developed to deliver evenness and smooth the customer demand. The Hayunka system works by determining the actual demand and a volume and mix pattern are determined from this to create a daily level schedule. The first step in leveling the workload is to determine the tack time. The term tack originates in German and represents the rhythmic beating of a drum. So tack time sets our rhythm for our production system. The first step in determining our tack time is to calculate the daily production requirement. In our example here, we have a monthly units demand of 2,100 parts per month. Our work days in the month are 20. This is four weeks of five days. So if we divide our monthly demand by our number of work days, we get 2,100 divided by 20, which gives us 105 units per day for our production requirement. Our daily available time needs to be calculated next and we get this from our shift time minus the breaks. Our shift time of 8 hours minus 1 hour for breaks gives us 7 hours times 60 minutes which is 420 minutes. Our total tack time is the daily available time divided by the daily production requirement which equates to our 420 minutes divided by our 105 units per day which means we have a tack time of four minutes per unit. This means that we would expect a unit to come off the end of our production line every four minutes. The diagram here represents an unlevel production schedule from an e-bicycle battery plant. The purple and green batteries are big sellers and the brown ones are not so common. This system is based on a traditional process and because changeover times for machines to be able to produce one battery type to another can be considerable. There is much pressure placed on the scheduling team to avoid changeovers and so create as big a batch as possible. This is for economies of scale. So the schedule 
is based around making as big a batch as possible of one type and then changing over to the next type and doing the same thing and keep repeating the process. Many issues arrive from this system. They stem around the fact that customers do not buy predictably. And if there is a sizable demand for brown batteries early in the week, it will create problems. The workaround is to hold stock levels of finished goods and call these off when they're required. As we know from learning outcome one, overproduction can be problematic. In lean systems, change over times are a target for improvement activities. As we will see later in the program, it is often possible to reduce change over times from many, many hours down to some insignificant times of a few minutes. This means that swapping between units is far less of an issue and battery production can be leveled on a daily basis as indicated in our mixed model production schedule here from a more lean environment. The advantages of the more leveled system are it's more flexibility to make what the customer wants when they want it. There's a reduced risk of unsold goods. Balanced use of labor and machines is more likely to occur and it is gonna smooth the demand on upstream processes and the plant suppliers to make life easier for everybody.